Now, everyone here knows about single tonguing, and I'm sure a lot of you know about double tonguing, and there may be some of you that know about triple tonguing. Today, we're going to talk a bit about quadruple, quadruple tonguing. Single tonguing. Let's just think about this for a bit. When we're talking about the different types of tonguing, let's translate it into a way that we can understand. All it really means is that you're using a certain place in your tongue for that type of tonguing. For example, single tonguing just means you're using a single place in your tongue to convey the articulation. Some of the most commonly used single tonguing syllables would be ta, tu, da, and if you notice, those are each one of those is in its own unique place on the tongue. When we talk about double tonguing, we're just talking about using the front part of the tongue and another part of the tongue in the back. So some common double tonguing syllables would be tu, ku, da, ga. Now think about it for a second. When you say tu, ku, the syllables going right here in the front, tu, ku, and also in the back. That's why it's called double tonguing, because double places of the tongue are being used. So common double tonguing syllables are tu, ku, tu, ku, du, gu, du, gu, ta, ka. There's a many of them. There's probably, there might even be an infinite number, actually. And you just kind of use which ones you're comfortable with. Basically trying to maximize your mileage for using a lot of different places on your tongue to facilitate your articulation in a quicker manner. Just because you can double tongue, triple tongue, and quadruple tongue, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are a faster articulator. You know, there are people that can single tongue, that can just out single tongue many of those people that do those multiple tonguing techniques. But it's kind of fun to talk about the different articulations and tongings that are available. So that's what we're doing here today. We talked about the double tonguing, tuku taka. And if you think about it, it's going from the front and the back end of the tongue. Let's talk about triple tonguing. We got triple tonguing. Here's a triple tonguing. Dagadi, dagadi. Now let's analyze this. Da, ga, di. Da, ga, di. Da, ga, di. Da, ga, di. Every single syllable is in a slightly different place of the tongue. Da, ga, di. 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 Da, ga, di.
So in order to save yourself from fatigue, you're gonna wanna practice these off the instrument and you're gonna wanna take breaks. See, already my tongue is very tired. And you just gotta build it the same way you built your single tonguing. You know, we all built our single tongue. Remember when we were doing single tonguing when we first started out on our instrument? Man, we would get so tired, you know? I just wanna reiterate how important this is. Just because you can triple tongue, quadruple tongue, double tongue, does not necessarily mean that you can play faster than someone that just single tongues. I know single tonguing musicians that are just phenomenally fast. Check out Andy Martin, check out my, Scott Kyle, they're all in my videos. I have videos on my Bone Master series with both of them. They single tongue a lot of stuff, and they're like about the fastest you can get on the instrument, okay? So just because you're quadruple tongue, it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be a faster instrumentalist. It just means you're using four different places on your tongue to articulate. Triple tonguing just means you're using three different places on your tongue to articulate. That's all that means, okay? That's all that means. I just want you to be very clear with that because people think, oh, triple tonguing, wow, they're so fast. Oh, quadruple tonguing, wow, they're so fast. Oh, da, 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 da. No, it's not necessarily the point. All it just means is different sections of the tongue and there are many different articulations you can use to utilize each one, whatever one's comfortable for you. Folks, if you play trombone and you would like to take your trombone playing to the next level, my debut method book out, Trombone Exercises That Will Make You a Great Player. It's the world's first digital trombone method book with clickable video links to support the content. All organized in the places of the trombone playing that I think will take your playing to the next level. It's available for you all, paulthetrombones.com slash books. And also with this, you get a lifetime membership in the private group of everyone that's downloaded this and has been working on the same material. So that's all there for you. I like to thank the patrons, of course. They really mean a lot to me. They really help me out tremendously. I wanna give out shout outs to everyone that was the first to comment and they were part of the notification squad. I have a notification squad. That's when you subscribe and you click the little bell and you're the first to comment. Giving shout outs to T1GGY14 underscore Wolf Gamer, FIFA Beast F Flat 7, Trevor Trusty, Nephew 101. Those were the first to comment on my last video. And you can be the first to comment. I'll give you shout outs. It's a little, little something I can do for you all. You're the best people. I just can't even believe how amazing you are. I appreciate you all so tremendously. Uh, oh my gosh, you're amazing. your home man go back to your home go back to your home oh my gosh okay if you made it to the end of this you're extra special people that make it to the end of this are some of the extra most special people in the world if you're new here I welcome you if you've been returning oh my gosh thank you so much for returning oh it means so much to me you're just amazing people oh my gosh whoa on behalf of banana and myself, it's Paul the Trombonist, signing off.